So I got this miner in the mail today. This one is a little bit different, so I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. Inside the box, we have an HP Chrome box, power supply, ethernet cable, and welcome letter. This is all used hardware, and it's part of Frey's Crypto Excursions, which aims to reduce e-waste and simplify the mining setup. The project has started with two decentralized networks with more to come. The first one is a DVPN, which is a decentralized VPN service, similar to something like Mysterium or Deeper Networks. The second is the first that I'm seeing, and it. it's a DGNSS, which is a decentralized global navigation satellite system. Neither is a small undertaking, and they've begun to roll out nodes for both of these projects. The roadmap also shows more services to be deployed further out, which demonstrates the team's ability to pivot into different areas of data mining. I'm going to link everything that you need to know about this project, including the white paper, in the description below so you can dig in further if you're interested in joining in. So I'm going to get ready to go ahead and set up this miner inside my crypto closet. I'm testing out my ASIC miners in here as well as other miners. Uh, then I have nodes. And then I have some other nodes down here that I'm testing that are in testnet right now. So in here I have a flux node and I have a streamer node running. And then I have a pre-search node on this one. And at the top here, I'm setting up a DPR farm. What I'll be doing is I'll be clearing up a little bit of space here. I'll be adding the fry miner on it. This whole closet actually needs to be cleared up. The cables are everywhere, but I'll be on that later on. All right, so I have the Chrome box here and I'm going to be installing it with my other small form factor PCs that I'm using for nodes. Okay, and I'm just going to be connecting the ethernet. All right, so the ethernet is now connected. Okay, and the power is connected. Okay, and now I just powered it on and we're done. That's pretty much it for the installation. The miner is pre-configured when shipped and comes with an assigned wallet. Once you have it installed, you email the support team your wallet address and give it about 48 hours and it'll come online. Once you're notified that it's been migrated, you can check the status of your miner by going on the blockchain and checking out your wallet's transactions. Once every hour, you'll have a zero fry transaction confirming your connection. And once a day at 420 CST, a set amount of 107.86 fry will be deposited into your wallet. Currently right now, one fry is going to give you about one penny. And we bring out the calculator over here, earning daily 107.86.01. So a little over a dollar times 30. So you'll be getting about $32 per month. And let's take a look at the cost of a miner. So the cost of a miner is $210. Okay, and so the total price is gonna be about $235. It's a flat rate of shipping, $25 worldwide, which is great. I'm in Canada, these are all US, this is all in US pricing. Everything I'm doing is in US. So in about eight months, seven, eight months, we get a full ROI and it's pure profit after that. And that's assuming that the price doesn't do anything. It stays at a penny. I also was offered a promo code. I'll make sure to link that in the description. The promo code is going to be CryptoJar and that'll give you 10% off your purchase. If you already ordered one and you want to check out the status of your order, you just have to go up here to resources and then go to shipping updates. And then depending on which one you're ordering, the bandwidth or the satellite miner, you can go ahead and select that and it lets you know what batch they're on right now. So they're on batch three right now. It looks like they've just completed batch two and uh, they're working on batch three. And you can also check out their Twitter page for updates like I do regularly. As these batches get released and more miners come online, that usually means more activity. That usually means changing in the price. That's usually positive from my experience. Shout out to the Fried Foundation for supplying me this test unit and allowing me to do a review on it. And I'm excited to see what happens down the road. And I'll be doing an update in a couple months just to let you know my progress. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.